Welcome back, everybody, to the Georgia State Panthers Dynasty. Today is the off season. You guys ate up the national championship. It is 3.30 when I'm recording this. You guys got it six likes in two hours and 30 minutes. That is amazing. Thank you so much for the support. So, you're getting the off season today. We're going to start off with the All-Americans. First team, where is all the Panthers? Here we are. Anybody on? Nobody on offense. That sucks. But on, we got a bunch of dudes on defense. We got Joseph Winston with his 17 sacks. Corey White, the senior. Tim Hicks, the freshman, won a bunch of awards this season. On the second team, we have two people. We have one person, Ryan Anderson. And then on freshman All-American, we got just two got three guys. Joseph Winston, Joe Underwood, who I don't know how he got here, but... Congrats, mate. And Tim Hicks. So, I mean, we were pretty successful this year. First team, all Sunbelt, though. We're dominating here. Carl, Cornelius, Courtney, our big C, made it. Joseph Winston made it. Corey White made it. Joe Underwood, Tim Hicks, Oliver Porter, Aaron Brothers, Eric Lowe, Ryan Anderson, our safety core made it. And no returners. All Sunbelt, sorry. We got Ken Franklin, Jay Harrell, Charles Chambers, Adam Cooper, and Marvin, somehow. Don't know how, I don't think he deserved it. He had 44 tackles this year, one TFL, two, two picks, one pick six, five deflections, but does it doesn't show broken tackles, but he he would have like a hundred that he gave up. So and Marcus Hayden made it, so that's good. Uh, Arizona State over Air Force in the New Mexico Bowl. Ohio over Hawaii. Fresno State in a in a butt cheek cleanser in the Poin Poinsettia Bowl. Mid Tennessee State taking down Louisville. Arkansas State from our conference, which you did read the title right, but we'd be leaving to the ACC, did take down UTEP. Stanford killed New Mexico. Nevada barely beat Tulane, who we beat. Indiana beat Central Michigan. Navy beat Northern Illinois, who's ranked. Can't believe Navy's ranked. Arizona beat Baylor down, like they destroyed them. North Carolina beat Rice. Syracuse beat Troy. Virginia Tech sneaked out against Utah. Northwestern beat Kansas. FIU beat San Diego State, who's ranked. Notre Dame got knocked off by Washington State. UCLA beat TCU. Kansas State beat Michigan in a high-scoring game. Vanderbilt beat Miami, who we beat last bowl season. USC beat Florida State. Arkansas blew out Louisiana Tech, who was ranked. Clemson killed Georgia. We all expected that. SMU beat Illinois. Nebraska beat Ole Miss. Wisconsin beat LSU. Good job. And South Carolina beat Iowa. Oregon took down number... Maryland was like number three or something, and then they lost to Oregon, and Oregon was number two. Florida beat Texas. Texas A&M beat Connecticut. Georgia Tech beat Washington. That was a that was probably a good game to watch. Oklahoma beat Kentucky. Houston beat South Alabama. Western Kentucky beat UMass. I was kind of hoping they would win in the GoDaddy.com Bowl. And we won the national championship. That was in last episode. I'm going to send to the offseason. We'll go over stats, career stats for all the seniors, and then we'll finish the offseason. I'll see you there. Oh, I guess we're getting another contract. I mean, if we win the national championship, you know, I should get one. I'll accept. Thank you. Coaching carousel. Now let's go over career stats for our seniors. Carl, he ended up with a 149.1 passer rating. 504 completions for 851 attempts, 7,684 yards, 50 touchdowns, 23 picks, and his rushing performance, he had 329 rushing attempts for 1,233 yards and 19 touchdowns, but 13 fumbles. 
So, in total, 36 turnovers to 69 touchdowns. Nice. And almost, almost 9,000 career total yards. Defensively, Eric Lowe leaves us with 97 career total tackles, 93 solo, 4 assisted, 4 TFLs, no sacks, 2 picks, 2 deflections, a forced fumble, and no touchdowns. Alex Johnson leaves us with 75 tackles, 54 solo, 21 assisted, 14 TFLs, Three and a half sacks, a pick, five deflections, no forced fumbles, no block kicks, nothing else for the for the senior. Senior David Tate with 68 tackles, 58 solo, 10 assisted, four TFLs, two deflections, a forced fumble, nothing else for this man's stat line. Senior redshirt Corey White. He didn't play too much in his career. I want to say, yeah, he only played two total seasons. His first year wasn't that great, but the next one was pretty good. 39 tackles, 18 TFLs, 13 sacks, one forced fumble that he picked up, returned for a yard. So, yeah, pretty good for him. Hopkins, 20 tackles, uh, four deflections, that's it for him. He didn't do much because he, he pretty much was on the bench for the end of his career. AC Moore. He was a senior this year. Didn't play him much in his entire career. This was his only year he played. Three tackles, three TFLs, two sacks. That is all he has to his name. Jason Dunn, the last man. He played two seasons. Did nothing his first season except for a fumble recovery. He had three tackles, two TFLs, and two sacks. That is probably it for the senior kicker, Marcus Hayden. 45 for 54 on field goals. That's career 83%. Extra points, he went 138 for 141. 97% complete on those field goals, on those extra points, sorry. So, yeah, I can see him going to the NFL. Kick returns, Bruce Hopkins. 17 returns, this was in last season, season before this one, 500 yards and a touchdown kick returning. I think it was the previous season, kick returns, yeah. So, he is the only, he had the first career kick six in school history, and that is all the stats. So, now we gotta go on to the players leaving, see who all is leaving the team have too many guys leaving what about our coaches though that's that's something we need to see Sunbelt Nathan Stang we got a new DC Torres left for a new job and a new OC he left uh, our previous one left for a new job good luck to them they helped us win a natty so I'm not upset here are all the seniors Eric Lowe now here's their ratings if you want to recreate these guys go ahead here they are. You can pause the video, look at their stats, and put them in if you want to. I won't stop you. you can have fun with these guys. I mean, go 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 bananas with it. Carl was a genius. 99 awareness, 99 injury. Although he did get hurt in that natty. Good luck to the guys in there. In some of them will go to the NFL. I'll take some to the NFL. Others will just graduate. Transfer requests. Who wants to come to Georgia State? We have no transfers. Oh, that sucks. Nobody wants to come here, even though we just won a national championship. Well, now we got recruiting. There's only a, probably four or five guys I got to give points to. That's how the points are looking. We got six K into Reggie Pruitt. Thousand and the rest of the guys, except for Mark Robbins, and we need more corners. This quarterback, I doubt he commits, but if he does, awesome, I guess. We don't really need him because we got Gabe Townsend going forward, but he would be interesting to have on the team. Hopefully we get some of these dudes. Right now the recruiting class is 
32nd in the nation, so it's not amazing. We got Reggie Pruitt, the rest of the guys committed to the other schools. No top 25 class for me, but wasn't going too hard on everybody. We'll see where the rest of the guys went. Kyle Young just decided, I don't want to go to school anywhere. I offered you a thousand, like, 3K points, bro. Commit. Ray Jackson's going to Georgia. Anthony Henry is going to Arkansas. Jonathan Jefferson's going to Oklahoma State. Really wasn't interested. Tyrell Ross is going to Idaho. Mark Robinson, wow, Georgia Tech threw a bag at that man. And Curtis Goff, who I really didn't want, care too much about, goes to Oregon State. This is the class, you know. It's a pretty good class. We didn't get, we only got 15 guys, but it is a really good class in my opinion. I did position changes, I didn't keep that in the video. Now we're on to the best part of the, of the offseason training results. Cornelius Miller went up six. Wow. That is amazing. 90 speed, 99 acceleration, 89 brake tackle, 88 trucking. Whoo! 86 stiff arm. The moves are getting better. The catching is absolutely dog crap, but do I really care? No, not really. I mean... Gabe Townsend went up 6. He's up to an 83. Love seeing it. Very low awareness, but that will go up. He's only a freshman, after all. 90 throw power, 87 accuracy. We're going to move to more of a pro-style offense so we can take advantage of him. Fullback, 77 now. All right, interesting. Chris Bishop went up to an 85. 95 speed now. Woo! Jesse Thurman, the dude I redshirted, he's... um. Very slow. Probably not going to play too much. Um, so what's what's his catch? Oh, God. Still 51 spec catch, but a little better at catching. Who is the best catcher? It's him. Wow. That's not good. I mean, Steven, Ken Franklin's up to 98 speed now. He is godlike at this point. S still very poor catching, but he's a speed demon, so... He is the fastest guy on the team, so. You know, Courtney Pratt, getting better by the minute. The linemen, they're getting more, they're getting better. We definitely gotta, yeah, we're getting better across the board. Adam Cooper, he's up to an 83 now. Joseph Winston's up to an 82. He didn't even need to be that good. What's the, what's the moves looking like now? 83, 80 power. No, and yeah, power. 88 finesse. Yeah, this dude's going to go crazy. Right end. Uh, so we got senior Kyle Allen. It's going to be his last year. DTs, we got Joe Underwood got better and Brent McClellan. He was redshirted. We got Zach Jones, the, the junior. Middle linebacker, though. Tim Hicks only went up five after that amazing season. Better catching, so maybe he'll pick the ball off more. 76 tackle, 89 hit power, 82 block shed. That should do a lot better. Better coverages. He, yeah, he's just getting a lot better as a player. He's a beast. Chris Reese is getting good as well. Oliver Porter being really good this year. Corners were still oh, absolute dog crap. We are still terrible, but we're getting better, I guess. The zone and man are much more respectable this season. So hopefully we can do a lot better. Marvin, you know, don't know about him. The senior, Derek Davis, I don't think he's starting. We got Ryan Anderson still getting better up to a 78. Not his senior season yet, but he's getting beastly. No kicker upgrade. Punter, Micah Johnson's up to a 75. I like seeing that. How's the kick power and the kick accuracy? 85 kick power, 67 accuracy. That's getting good. And that's it. Nice. Solid work. Cut players. Now, this is a sad part because you got to cut. Although, it's just bums pretty much. Custom conferences. Now, this is where we're going to move to the ACC. All right. We can set reset skill trees as well. Definitely want to do that. 
We we haven't even seen the oh god there we have a level one coordinator. What the heck, man? All right, we're gonna upgrade power moves and stuff. But we got a level twenty four offensive coordinator. This is gonna be nice. Carrying quarterbacks, receivers, wide um, running backs, um, pass blocking, run blocking. Nick Macklin, what a beast. And better athleticism, plus two speed, plus four agility, plus three strength, and plus two excel. And we're going to get math leads, so we get higher awareness for our players. But we have a level one offensive, co defensive coordinator, so that's not fun. Oh boy, that's going to be amazing. So, yes, we are going to move from our multiple playbook that I usually run to the pro-style offense. Because, um, yeah, it's we have a pro-style quarterback, a pocket passer, not very fast. He's going to throw it, but he's not going to run. Custom conferences. We are leaving to go to the ACC. Um... Mm. Atlantic or Coastal? Let's go with Atlantic. We could just move to the other side. Okay. Yeah, this is... Definitely... Tough. We got Clemson, Maryland. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. But, you know, that's what I want. I want it difficult. We're gonna be in the Atlantic Division. I think, right? Make sure I didn't mess this up. Yep. All right, good. So first, we're going to set up the schedule. Then we're going to... Ooh, yeah, this looks rough. All right, yes. Re regenerate our schedule, and then I will change it to what I want. FCS East, Tulsa. That might be fun to play. Uh, two opens. So two out of conference games? Really? Okay. Well, that's not cool. Wow. And we only get two bye weeks. So Duke, remember in the first season we played Duke at Duke. So we're going to actually, we're actually going to change where we're going to play this game at. So we're going to play at the Cajun Field, UL Lafayette. We're going to play Duke there. That seems fun for the lulls. And FCS East, that wouldn't be interesting. Clemson's going to be a tough one. Georgia Tech's our rivalry game. So this is a decent schedule. Tulsa, I mean, we can leave Tulsa. Tulsa is an interesting one. We haven't played them in this series. So now I'm going to do my red shirting in my depth chart. I'll show who, if anybody gets red shirted. We're going to redshirt Eddie Turner. We're going to keep him around because we're going to let Scott Johnson play his... We're going to let him do his senior thing. J.J. Smith's going to receive a redshirt. We're going to get the so senior. We're going to get Chris Bishop out of here. We don't need to recruit wide receivers for a little while. Tight ends. Mike Cannon's going to sit on the pine. And Bennett's going to sit... Uh, Randy Gibson, I'm going to play over Colby Babick, so we're going to bench him. James Haynes, the end, is going to be redshirted. A redshirt Ross Freeman. We're going to redshirt Warren Andrews. And that's it. That's all the redshirts. Depth chart things. And now I'm going to do recruiting. You're not going to see that. It takes me about an hour to recruit. So, if you watch the end of the video... You're the real Super Bowl MVP. I'm Psychotic Logan. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.